Well, we may as well dive right back into our own car here while we have a break in between projects. And I've tried to capture, like I usually do, uh, some of the interesting stuff. We've made some good modifications to our uh, Resto Mod Cooper S. What's going on here? The cylinder head for the 1380, which uh, I've already put into the car, but uh, I've got some uh, catching up to do on my video posting. We'll show some of the steps that it took to get here. But this is the aluminum head, one I've had on that uh, crazy 1380 in that green car. If you recall, we had pretty high compression pressure. And so I took some of the uh, tricks from the MED head that I had ordered here with the kind of large combustion chambers. And I'm enlarging the pierce head chambers here and there. And also hopefully improving some of the flow around these closed in valves. When I first started doing these, this was kind of the one I thought, all right, I'm just going to see just how far you can go before you break it or crack into something. And it's pretty huge. Uh, not the biggest valves. I actually kind of looking at the way this is all shaped and how much we open, even with a 1380, which is a pretty big overbore. Um, these are the 1.4, 1.22. So, you know, the bigger size that you'd see in the Longman GT7 um, or what you'd think of the authentic Cooper S of the 60s where it, those heads had problems when you put valves that big. They would crack in between the seats, never designed for it. Subsequent heads addressed that. This aluminum head doesn't have issues. You've got seats on both intake and exhaust. With a little more light, we can see here the differences in the chamber that I've modified versus one I haven't touched yet. And then if you look at these spark plug holes, we can see here the modification. Oh, my camera is getting in the way of the light. But you can see how I've opened that one up. The pierce heads tend to be, they look like this, standard. Now I've sort of softened the edges of the threads there previously, but I've started cleaning them up like this since I did the head for that super moke. Uh, that we built. That thing turned out fantastic. Now in this case I'm lowering the compression pressure a little bit because of the flat top pistons and using some of the tricks that the race heads do to give a little bit of uh, a little unshrouding of the valves here. We want to be a, a bit more street friendly. It's been the goal here to make this engine a bit more uh, livable on the street. Opening this up here gives a bit more room around the full diameter of the tip of the spark plug. But again, street engine, a bit more durability. We don't need the real horsepower at the absolute, you know. I don't want to have to spin this to 7,800 uh, for it to, to, to make all of its power, which won't live. And by the way, here we can, uh, we can kind of see that uh, the, the Cooper Road Mini uh, R&D basement, a quick sweep around, not to frighten anyone, but it's kind of at the tail end of a bunch of projects. So if you've got something interesting that's perhaps beyond the capability and affordability of most shops, get a hold of me. Um, I work at home. I enjoy challenging uh, projects, sometimes ones that seem hopeless. Uh, we do a bit of re-engineering and ultimately we, uh, we strive to make things work better than they did in the first place. I don't just fix things, um, I make them better so they don't break again in the same way.